Dun, 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 dun. Three. So, here we go. We right. finished that uh, little juicing project, and uh, I'm going to do some orange juice later. But I uh, just wanted to show you a couple of my paintings we were talking about. Um, this is what yeah, real apple juice looks like, by the way. This is my book collection, and uh, my and Barb's book, book collection. collection. Me and Barb's book collection. We're in the middle of reorganizing re, uh, some stuff, so I have some uh, I have some um, piles here that I'm trying to find some room for, but, uh, you know, this is a painting I did. This is a, uh, Egyptian motif of, um, the winged disc of, uh, the goddess Maat, mm -hmm. the solar disc. So it's on just wood and, you know, it's with, uh, it's got a piece acrylics. of wood. Uh, it's just much. acrylics on wood. This is Barb. Barb did this. It's like a little mini tribute to Tesla. And it says there, peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment. It's a quote from Tesla. Um, what else? I did this one. It's not finished. I'm still working on making the colors a little bit more vibrant. Now, a lot of people would look at that and would it. see the symbol. The symbol. What is it? What would the that is, symbol that is called the unicursal hexagram of Thalema. That is um, uh, part of the Thalamic tradition. So uh, that's basically the uh, that's basically Aleister Crowley's version of the yin yang mm -hmm. or the chalice and the blade united, or in other words, the seal of Solomon. But it's done with one motion. In other words, not lifting the pen from the paper. So uh, you know he he drew the hexagram or the unicursal hexagram with one one motion. As you can see there, you could trace it in a single line instead of making two uh, triangles. It's a single single line that you mm -hmm. could draw it with right so i i did that and put a little bit of a i mean look at this book collection this is this is impressive we have more upstairs we have another shelf upstairs there's another shelf over here that's mostly reference books next to the uh fish tank there got the family of fish yeah it's a little dark but right huh so uh I'm gonna make some orange juice next. All right. What about the uh, statues you got up top here, Mark? What's going on up here? They're all masks that we collected from all, all over the world, all different places in the world. That wherever we've traveled, we usually pick up a mask. Yeah. So. That's probably a monkey. Yeah. You have the mask that the uh, world leaders wear. Because <laughs> we all know it's mostly it. indigenous cultures. That's, you know, that's, that's Mexican. That this is Guatemalan. Uh, not not, what, not uh, Nicaraguan. 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 Yeah, that's Chinese. I was wasn't that's in China. Mexican. My father actually gave it to me. Yeah. And here's the thing, guys. As I'm as I'm filming, you know, you have to have a sense of humor in this because if you don't, you go completely insane. Mm -hmm. And then that's within the, the universal community, the truth community. You know, we were talking earlier about how um, me, and Mark were saying, me and Mark were saying about how important it is to merge the two, universalism with activism. Yes. And it kind of seems like a lot of activists nowadays are swapping spit in the little uh, activist gr uh, group communities that, you know, it, it seems like they're sh continuously sharing information throughout, only activists only. And that, what do you think about that, Mark, how, how it should be... Um, shared uh, with a lot of people too yeah, that, that I think have it's them. one of the sticking points and I think that the uh, free so-called freedom movement or the truth movement really has to unite with the uh, UFO community and uh, the people who are you know trying to get at the truth of uh, you know extraterrestrial visitation and extraterrestrial phenomena mm -hmm. and uh, it seems like you know never the twain shall meet because I personally think that the UFO community is a little bit more open-minded in that regard, and they are looking at a lot of the issues that, you know, the political, financial, and, you know, uh, social issues that the truth movement is looking at, but I feel like the truth movement doesn't want to be associated in any way with a lot of the topics that the um, uh, extraterrestrial truth seekers are out there engaging. But it all goes hand in hand. Sure, sure, of course. Because it does. we have to understand that these, um, the powers that be, the powers that hold us down and mind control and manipulate us, they understand how the universe works. Absolutely. They understand how the conscious works. Hey, while we're talking about this, let me give people a little tip. A friend of mine showed me this. Okay. You peel an orange real easy without hurt, you know, hurting your fingers or 
doing a number on your nails, just make a little slit like that. Mm -hmm. Take a soup spoon that's round and just insert it right underneath the skin mm -hmm. like that and uh, work it around. You know? Mm -hmm. And it comes right right off real easy. Sometimes I can get it off in one in one motion, in one shot, and have the you know the skin, you know, completely off. Look at that. Look at how easy that is. Barb, do you have an extension cord? Do I have any what? Extension cord. Um for the phone or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, I, I, I have one I can get for you. Yeah, he's got it, all that stuff. Now, how much easier is that than peeling an orange the traditional way? It's different. Yeah. It's definitely it different. Well. Yep. I'll get you an extension cord for the uh, charger for that. Yeah, so I can actually walk around. And... Yeah. Pause it and I'll grab that for you. You sure? Yeah. Okay. So I'm peeling right. some orange for homemade... Uh, Organic now these are organic oranges too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They could be a little hard to find sometimes, but they had them in today. I was surprised. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. It's it's great. It came out good. That's the sweetened version too. I put a little bit of apple juice in there. Yeah. And you can leave the mm. what's called the pith on the orange. Right. You don't have to go so deep that you remove the pith. The so, juice. Yeah, when you're juicing. That's this, a real, real. This is real. real juicing, like. Veggie fruit juice. Yep. The pith is fine to leave on, which is this part underneath okay. the, well, that's uh, the rind. Me, yeah, it is, and um, it does not now. add. It does not add any <laughs> bitterness to the juice. If you left don't the rind all, on, bitter now. if you left any part of this on, it would be kind of bitter. You don't want the rind, but the yeah. pith is fine to leave on. How many um, oranges would you say we're going to need here? I'm just going to juice them all. Juice them all. I just I bought one bag, so I'm we just got some making coffee. I'm <laughs> my third glass of juice. I'm feeling good. That's probably why I'm, I'm even more hyper now because this juice chart really charges you up. I've been where like I felt like totally out of it. Drank yeah. a cup of it like before work and been like, yeah, I'm ready for twelve hour shift. That's, you know, <laughs> for real. And I, I yeah, like I tell everyone, I I'm not a healthy eater. I'm not. So the juice will be So this juice will sort of get me. I mean, we eat our share of junk every now and again. I, you yeah. know. I'll be, I'll be dead. I'll, 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 I'll be dead in the next five years. Fudgeables. <laughs> I'll wake up and, one day like. And like ice cream pops. And yeah. I'll eat them once in a while. Oh, you What's know your this? weakness, Mark? Candy? Uh, candy? Is it candy now and again? Chocolate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but remember, you got to start that making that heat more. Ice cream. making homemade chocolate. I make homemade, homemade ice, cream ice cream too. Is incredible. Yeah. From more that, that, that homemade chocolate. Hey, maybe I'll make making. some. Uh, I would need some uh, raw sugar yeah. to make the homemade ice cream because we're out. That was real good. But, but if I'm you want, I can show you a homemade chocolate. chocolate ice cream recipe. I, 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 I I'm in no rush. I live in Philadelphia. That homemade so. chocolate though, when you made the the actual chunks you know. of chocolate. Oh yeah, it, yeah. It tasted as good as the Mexican organic chocolate that I got at a scene. Yeah. Yours was just as good. Not better. Yeah, that was good. good, good, good. So I mean, this is the this is the beautiful thing about me living in the same city. Yeah. So we can just there you go. I'll update I'll update once a year what Mark has been up to, and as long as he uh, as long as he uh, says it's okay. We were talking about hobbies before. Um, I showed I showed Paul some of my uh, art. And Barb has a lot of art in the house. We can go up to the art room later if you want to see yeah. some of Barb's art. It's kind of a mess up there, yeah. But it looks more like a. If you want to bring down any and show, yeah, show them, you know. Barb's really good at art. Um, Thank you. But uh, yeah, her art is actually hanging up in here. That's that's one of her pieces there. That small one. Oh, the, this yeah. is Barb's right here. She has a kind of an abstract style. Oh, that's our friend. Earl Green. That's Earl Green. Yeah. His predecessor was Earl Grey. It's a gray alien. Like a tea. Yeah. This is a green that... Who bought that for you? Michael Melton? Uh, He's a pal. He talks. Look, see? I think uh, Shannon bought that for us. Yeah. Got that for us. She gave it to me for He's, very, he's a good guy. Home. Shake hands. Yes. Please don't depopulate my planet. Nice to please. meet you. Don't depopulate my planet. A nice trash light, too. And, and see, that's the thing. Like, you know... Your viewers, Mark, are obviously going to see this. Um, they're going to see my work, and, and they're going to, you know, we, 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 we want to make this, we want to make this a homey environment video to where people can really see. Welcome into the world yeah. of Mark Pashio. I'll, I'll, right. I'll show you my, uh, my uh, little den or, you know, 
man cave. Yeah, well, I was going to say, you got a man cave, oh, Mark? Is yeah. it in the basement? What are oh, we doing? yeah. It's yeah? actually like a cave. That's the most orderly place in this whole place. Now, see, this guy, I believe, is in mine. <laughs> but the rest of the place that's mine is not so orderly. You never forget that. <laughs> But you know, I mean, Mark believes in mind control. He believes in in, in, in the occult. He believes in everything that people may not be used to. And here he is. He has a man cave. Yeah, that's right. He has his mind control device down in the man cave. <laughs> Gotta have an orderly man place central. to work. Man central. Huh? You know. Aside from some art, uh, and I like to bowl occasionally, I'm trying to pick that up again. But um, uh, I also like shooting, so Who you go, shoot? to the, go to the range. You like target? Yep. Yeah. That's what I just got for my birthday. Nice gun to use target shooting with. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I go to the range whenever I can and uh, got the extension cords. Get some target practice in. Just join an outdoor one. Right. Well, you're going to need the target practice because, you know, when the, mm -hmm. when the shit hits the fan, we're going to need to know how to use guns and... and, and we want to be and, prepared for everything. So, absolutely. You know, no, understanding different kinds of weaponry, knowing how to use it is definitely important. Well, one thing that I've been doing is I've been um, learning how to, like, survive in the wilderness, uh, make That's my, you know, uh, how to gut animals sure. and... And, and spike, you know, had a spike on and uh, all kinds of stuff uh, like that. So, but here's, here, here's the thing, because if you know, after after everything goes down, yeah. what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do if you have to know what herbs to eat, what herbs not to eat, exactly. how to purify your own water, all kinds of stuff exactly. like that. Here we go. No, I think that's very true. Yeah, we work with a, another good activist group in Philly called Survive and Thrive. All right. Fernando, uh, they do really good work.